definitely um definitely helped i am enjoying it so very much i said like when i went to raw uh, a few months back they had like a two minute match that was the two of them um and it was fire and it was like super it was super fun mm -hmm. um those guys in the ring together they're just they're just money they're just great great segment for a go-home show um, but let's compare that to Raw's title scene, where number one contender Roman Reigns faced off against Chris Jericho for a chance at regaining his U.S. title. And he lost. <laughs> <laughs> Reigns has faced off against the various combinations of Jericho and Universal Champ Kevin Owens a lot over the past month. Do you guys think that that's at all hampered the build to the final showdown between Reigns and Owens? I am very ready for this program to be over. Um, I'm still having fun with it right now. Yeah. Every time they do the cage, I'm like, I can't believe they let them do that cage. Um, <laughs> but like, I'm still having fun with it. Okay. But I think, I mean, so much of that is just how good Jericho and Owens are. Mm. They're just so good. Yeah. They're just so fun. And they're super over like that. And they make me care. They, they do, but I wonder if that's a problem. So, so Mike, let me jump to you for a second because you, well, first of all, you're a heel. Yeah. Second of all, uh, <laughs> you complain a lot about the being off that that opening segment, Roman Reigns was booed the whole time. Oh God, yeah. Ooh, the heart, Owens and Jericho were, were cheered the whole time. If you were watching it, you know what? Seen though before, they would be the faces. I did notice that when Roman kind of uh, snarkily, sarcastically tricked Jericho in a great little rematch, the people really went up for that. There were a lot of yes chants for that championship rematch. Hmm. And I thought that was interesting because they were booing him hard, yeah. but they were cheering him getting this championship opportunity. Yeah, I think what sometimes cheering, people though? just like want to, they just want to cheer boo sometimes. Yeah. And they want to <laughs> see the match. They want to see Jericho wrestle. They want to see Jericho wrestle. But yeah, I, I will say when you talk about the face heel yeah. alignment, this is definitely a heel move to like put someone best friend in a cage. Like, that's definitely, <laughs> that's definitely not, that's not a face move to put someone's best friend in a cage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Roman is just always going to be not right until they do the right thing with him. I just feel like that's yeah. just a permanent thing, and I think that's going to carry into whatever feud they have him in is that feeling of, man, this ain't as good as it could be because he's on the wrong side. You know what I mean? And, right. if, and if they, you know, if they ever, ever go ahead and actually turn him. Ah, oh, gosh. Could you imagine what it might feel like to boo him because you're supposed to? Yeah. Could and you, you know, imagine? He's just, he's still going to be the pretty, pretty prince with the nice blue contacts. And don't you love booing pretty, pretty <laughs> princes with nice blue contacts? <laughs> kind of do. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Come that's, on, Joe. That's booable. That's a booable offense. He has, did he move? He's moved from the flak jacket to a shirt now, right? Is he he's not wearing shirt? the, I didn't see him wearing armor at the top. No, I, I think he was wearing a shirt, but he probably got a new shirt. Yeah. <laughs> just the Kevlar's so built in. It's a, it's a Kevlar weave. Can I have a fashion corner moment, please? Yes. Um, I did realize that part of the reason I don't like Roman Reigns is because his outfit makes him look like he thinks he can transform into a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> like if he tried hard enough, oh, he could just I will would, it into being. <laughs> how much would you pop for that, though, if he did just transform into a motorcycle? I would love that. Yeah. I would love him and that. Oh. <laughs> if they did that. Ended every promo with... <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Believe that. I'm a motorcycle man. Now, would, would the motorcycle also be wearing, like, the, the vest? Yeah. It would just or, be a motorcycle with a vest on the front <laughs> over the headlights. <laughs> He's got a move called the drive-by. You know what I mean? It's already built in. It's already built in. <laughs> Next on American Chopper, Paul and Polly Jr. try to rebuild Roman Reigns' leg. <laughs> Let's jump over to SmackDown. <laughs> Now, Mike, we talked a couple weeks ago about the idea of the Wyatt family breaking up again, but we didn't get to hear your thoughts. So how do you feel now that Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton seem to have excommunicated Luke Harper? Do you think that's what's Can happening? Can I tell you the problem I have with this entire scenario? Yes, I wish you would. Oh, my God. <laughs> the thing that bothers me every time I've seen the three of them on a television screen in the last month or so is that <laughs> Bray Wyatt's supposed to be a cult leader. What kind of cult leader can't control his two members? 